Hello, it's Jo here from Minerva. Today I'm here to show you how to put some pockets into an inseam on the side of a dress. You might find a pattern that you really, really like, but it hasn't got pockets. And maybe the pocket thing wouldn't be the deal breaker. But if you could choose the design style that you liked and put pockets in, then you can really get a design that you would like. Today we're going to look at making some of the details on the Tilly and the Button Stevie dress. This dress doesn't have pockets, but I'm going to show you how to put inseam pockets in. And this has a patch pocket on and I'm going to show you that too. I'm wearing a Stevie dress. This is in a linen cotton mix. You can see the movement. You need a little bit of movement in a Stevie fabric. If you make one with a quilted cotton, you'll end up with sort of very, you'll end up with a dress that looks like that. Whereas you need, because it's not got a lot of waist shaping, you need the fabric to give you a little bit of movement around the waist. It's a great pattern for a big print. So if you've got a large print like this, you're not cutting into it or even if you've got like um, big circles or big birds or big insects it's really great for that so one of the easiest pockets you can learn to do if you're a beginner is a little patch pocket and you see them on the breast of a shirt or in this case the stevie dress so it's really important that you get the grain line straight because that will help you to press the sides in I'm going to cut this out, then I'm going to show you the preparation for a patch pocket. So I'm going to fold the top and the bottom over by 15mm and press. I've got glass head pins so I can be a bit ruthless with my pressing. And use the seam gauge to make sure that I've got my 15mm. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And then I'm going to sew those little folds down and I'm going to find a 1.5 seam here and I'm going to find it here and I'm going to sew that on the machine and then I can turn it so these are right sides together. going to take it over to the machine I'm going to sew just that little bit here 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 and here and then I'll be able to fold the sides in so we've sewn the little seam allowance on the top and the bottom show you that there and now we're going to turn those corners inside and have the fabric turn the right side out and that will automatically show us the seam allowance for the sides because we mark them at 1.5 just going to use this top of the seam gauge for pressing out the points which is really useful I'm going to take that over to the iron and give it a press and then you'll see that the front then has all the raw edges enclosed. So it's time to put the patch pocket on. So I've used some little tailor's tacks. I've marked the back with chalk when I was um, doing cutting out the pattern. And now I need those marks to show through to the right side. So now I can place the pocket where those tailor's tacks are. And then we know that they're in the right place, not going to be too high, not going to interfere with any other seams that we're going to make. And then we're going to sew a single line all the way around with a little triangle at the end. And that will secure the pocket in the corners. There we are, a patch pocket. Um, you can see it there. I've put a little decorative stitching across the top and then you top stitch three mil from the edge. But you must put you must decide if you're going to put a patch pocket on something before you sew it so that you can manoeuvre this piece of fabric around your sewing machine. Trying to put a patch pocket on once you've finished um, is very, very difficult.
we're going to have a look at some of the details for adding inseam pockets to a stevie. I'm going to add a pocket to a stevie dress. It's quite a plain style, but you can put an inseam pocket in. The first stevie I made, I didn't put pockets in and then I really regretted it. So um, I would love to put some in this next dress that I'm making from chambray. Um, I've made myself my own template, Joe's generic pocket, and I've allowed a 1.5 seam allowance to sew it into the seam. And I've got a one center centimeter seam allowance all the way around the outside because I'll probably use my overlocker to join those. You need four, so you need um, two and two. And then you're going to cut them out and I'm going to show you where to place them on the dress. I've traced off um, my Stevie pattern because I want to draw on it and show you um, different places and markings. And I also wanted to make this a size one rather than my normal size so that it was small enough to fit on the screen. What's great about the Stevie pattern is it actually has a waist and a hip marking on and that's absolutely key to getting your pockets in the right place. So you're going to have to do some measuring on yourself because where I'm putting this pocket might not necessarily be the same place that you want a pocket. But I know that um, I measured the person so that they've got this much before their pocket starts and then there'll be 1.5 centimetre seam allowance and that's their hip point. So really the pocket is on their hip, higher up on their waist. And I can't really tell you where to put a pocket because it depends how long your arms are, how long your body is, um, what style you want the dress to have overall with its inseam pocket. So I've marked with notches here and here where I'd like my pocket to go. So it's going to fit. It's going to fit there and that's where we're going to sew it and I'm going to show you how to just stabilize the edge of the seam so that your pocket doesn't um, bag out you need it you want an inseam pocket to stay within the seams of the dress so that you get a smooth silhouette there we are I've just put a piece of interfacing between the um, two notches for the pocket and I've put a piece on the wrong side of the pocket so when we put these pieces of fabric right sides together, matching those notches, we're going to sew through some slightly thicker layers and that will just give the seam, just in that pocket area where you're forcing the weave of the fabric open, it will just give it a little bit more stability. It's important here to make sure that you keep the seam allowances. So if you're new to sewing and you um, it's still a little bit wobbly on the machine. You might want to just mark out your seam allowances because if you sew one different to another, then your two pocket bags won't line up with each other when we match the front and the back. So we're going to pin this pocket between the notches. And then we're going to sew this seam at 1.5. You'll also need to make a pivot point. So I've got a one centimetre seam allowance on the edge of my pocket. So I'm going to put a mark here. And then I've got a 1.5 seam allowance on my dress. So I've got a pivot point right there. So here is where I'm going to sew round my pocket and then I'm going to have another pivot point there and then I will be able to continue sewing but I'll show you that in a minute. Next part of the inseam pocket is to look at that whole side seam as, as one whole length. So from here all the way down the side so you've got from the bottom of the hem you're going to get so up to here you're going to find that pivot point that you made which um, is with up to the seam allowance and then you're going to sew around the pocket I'm just going to put that pivot point on in different colors so you can see it so up to that pink dot around the pocket and then back to your 
second pivot point then you're going to go up here and around so you you don't sew across there because that will close your pocket you're coming up to the end and up to the end and then carrying on and we're going to do that on both sides and now you can see why the notches are so important because you don't want your pocket to be like that and not matched up so they are pretty perfect to be honest as good as I would ever get them and I'm just going to put a little double pin in here and that reminds me to stop sewing and pivot otherwise I might accidentally whiz up there when I get on the machine so I use a double pin as a stop marker so I'm going to sew up to here round here and round here So, also, last part is to clip in that little pivot. So you made that pivot point to show you where to sew to, and now it's the point that you're going to snip to. So you need your really good sharp scissors. These are my Janome ones. Fab scissors. Great tips. And then... I'm going to cut into that corner and I'll show you one clipped and one not clipped and you'll see why you do it. So this is the thick one that's not been clipped and this one here is the one that's lying flat which is. So there's your inseam pocket. You shouldn't see it once it's pressed. It should be an invisible pocket, but a pocket that lies really nice and flat within the seam. Don't forget to engage yourself with the Minerva makers online. Look at what people have made, maybe see some fabrics you haven't seen before. It all really helps to improve your sewing and find your next project. Now that you know how to put a pocket in an inseam, you can put a pocket in any skirt um, that has that side seam. You can put pockets in skirts and even trousers. So when you've made your little pocket block, that's yours to keep and you can use that as your first journey into hacking patterns and making your own style. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Minerva and see you soon.